A new weapon is coming to see if Thieves and Adventures have been cancelled. With the 2024 preview event having been announced, tons more information about the PlayStation 5 release has been revealed, including exclusive cosmetics for the platform. Welcome to Ghost Flash, the only place to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And today, we have a lot to unpack. Not only do we have more information about the PlayStation 5 release of Sea of Thieves, with the additions, the closed beta, exclusive cosmetics, but Sea of Thieves have also announced the 2024 preview event. And honestly, they have been going on a press spree. There have been so many articles released in light of the PlayStation 5 release, and there is some very interesting bits and pieces we can pick out, including the announcement of a new weapon. So let's get straight into it with the PlayStation 5 stuff. First off, there are three different editions, Standard, Deluxe, and Premium, all of which netting you some unique rewards. The Deluxe Edition will get you the Ocean Crawler Cosmetics, Collector's Thunderous Fury Figurehead and Sails, the Shrouded Ghost Hunter Blunderbuss, and 10,000 gold for you to spend in Outpost Stores. On the other side of things, the Premium Edition will give you everything the Deluxe Edition gave you, along with the Dark Warsmith ship set with Collector's Figurehead and Sails, the Dark Warsmith costume, and the Diabolical Dog Pet. All of these additions will be coming to the Microsoft Store as well, so they're not unique to PlayStation. There are even more rewards though, because if you pre-order any edition, you'll gain access to the Athena's Fortune audiobook, the Sea of Thieves Digital Soundtrack 2024 edition, and the Rough Guide to Sea of Thieves ebook. Additionally, if you pre-order any edition on the PlayStation platform, you will gain some unique rewards. Those being the Ruby Viper weapon set, Scarlet Storm Parakeet, and two outfits to go alongside it, and access to the PlayStation 5 closed beta. We'll go over that in a second. The Ruby Viper weapon set you might recognize as being a red reskin of the Obsidian set, just like they did a pre-order bonus for the Xbox edition when it first came out. If you pre-order the Premium Edition, you'll also get the Season 12 Plunder Pass and five days early access to the full game. In terms of the price, there's no scaling on currency, so it's £39.99 or $39.99 for the Standard Edition. For the Deluxe Edition, it's $49.99 or pounds, and for the Premium Edition, it's $59.99 or pounds. Moving on to the PlayStation 5 Closed Beta, this will be taking place from April 12th to April 15th. Those who jump in and play during the closed beta will earn the Dauntless Adventurer title and Dauntless Adventurer sales. So again, exclusive cosmetics for PlayStation. That closed beta is only for PS5 users and only for those who pre-order the game, of course. The servers will be PlayStation exclusive too, meaning you have a really good environment to get up to speed with the game before jumping into the main release on April 30th. Finally, Sea of Thieves are working on a brand new mode called Solo Seas. This is a single player mode which has the same rules as Safer Seas, but you don't need an Xbox Game Pass Core subscription or a PlayStation Plus subscription to set out and sail the seas. So if you don't have those, you can still play solo, obviously very limited, but they are working on that, which is really good. But that brings us to the end of the PlayStation 5 stuff. Now on to news for the upcoming Sea of Thieves year. So, first off, they have announced the 2024 preview event. This is happening on March 20th, which is their anniversary, their sixth anniversary. And across articles that have been released, they have said that this year is probably going to be the most classic Sea of Thieves year yet. It's full of mischief, and they're aiming to deliver high-impact sandbox updates. And the game health is a priority for them in 2024. Or one thing that is a bombshell though is that adventures have been cancelled. Eurogame is speaking to Joni and Mike Chapman reported, One thing that definitely won't be returning however are Sea of Thieves' monthly story driven adventures, which splattered out last June with one final instalment. And despite Rare teasing their eventual return when we spoke last year, that's no longer happening. I think it was wonderful to move our storyline forwards, Chapman explains of the decision. 
But narrative was very much leading those experiences, and the gameplay was feeling kind of second fiddle to it. So our new plan is to weave that narrative into the seasons themselves, like we did in the earlier days, to actually make it part and parcel of the gameplay. I think we're quite good at weaving that. As part of that adjustment, players can expect the long-teased return of Sea of Thieves' big bad, Captain Flameheart, in a future season, and Neat says that the team is looking at regular new gameplay-focused events on an ongoing basis in between seasons, that are about really trying to drive interesting behaviour and fun and buzz in the sandbox itself. On this, Chapman adds, One of the things that Season 11's new quest table gives us is that you don't need to know the event is active. It's going to be showcased through that table, so doing things that maybe changes the feel of the sandbox for the weekend, that's much easier to do now. So, adventures have been cancelled. Genuinely, this is a great decision in my opinion. They can actually focus on the sandbox and weave the lore into it as they said in that extract there. It's really good decision. Year 1 Sea of Thieves was phenomenal having the content time with the story and then maybe next year or the year after when we get into more lore based, Tall Tales can return and we can have a really big story impact with that. Adventures never really felt right for Sea of Thieves in my opinion. They always felt a bit lacklustre and it was a shame they were trying to tell a really deep story but the gameplay was letting it down. But moving on, Sea of Thieves is getting a new weapon class. I know, unbelievable. GameSpot reported Sea of Thieves will receive a new weapon class for the first time since the game launched six years ago. Rare revealed to GameSpot in a recent interview. The team isn't ready to share exactly what that weapon is, but unlike other new weapons that have arrived over the years, such as the Trident of Dark Tides and the Ashen Wind Skull, which must be found in the open world, this new weapon will be available as the newest class that players can equip from any armory, such as the one on the ship or at forts and outposts. This is fantastic. I always love to see them do things they've never done before, and it's exciting to speculate will it be a melee weapon or will it be a new gun. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see as this new weapon. I'm really interested to know because there are so many possibilities. I cannot wait for it. But anyways, we are not done. We've got more news to cover. Because Polygon reported speaking to Sea of Thieves that Neat teased an upcoming item called the Horn of Fair Winds. What it actually does is a mystery, but since winds are so critical to chasing or escaping from another ship, it seems like it'll be perfect for enabling hijinks. That sounds absolutely incredible and I can't wait to see what it'll do. If it does control the wind somehow, that will be game changing. But there's still more to go. The 6th anniversary event running between the 20th and the 25th of March. Legendary messaging of bottles will appear around the map, which will lead you to legendary loot. If you complete 10 of these, you will get the Sea Glass Rapier. There's a login bonus of the Golden Sailor Capstan between those dates, and from the 20th till the 28th of March, there is a Pirate Emporium sale on the Legend of Monkey Island cosmetics and others to celebrate the anniversary. And there we go, that brings us to the end of this action-packed news episode. There's been so much to cover today, future of the game is amazing, PlayStation release is going to be amazing, and we of course have the preview event to look forward to. So, there we go, thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Are you excited for the future of the game, and what do you want to see come at the preview event? Anyways, that does just wrap us to the end of the video, so if you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.